Time now for your business roundup. And pessimism about the economy has in recent days been tentatively giving way to optimism, with analysts daring to say that the so-called eagerly anticipated green shoots are at last appearing. Well, joining me now is Nigel McFarlane. He's a policy manager from Greater Manchester's Chamber of Commerce. Lovely to see you, Nigel. Good evening. Um, so, some sort of green shoots. The FTSE's seen a bit of a recovery. There are more mortgages being offered, more homes going for sale. Are we allowed to be optimistic yet? Um, I, we can be cautiously optimistic. What I don't think we should do is go too far down the line of the Institute of Chartered Accountants and say that the recession is effectively at an end. Um, Ivy Rome made a very good point. There is a long way to go yet. There are a lot of factors that still haven't even begun to make themselves felt on the economic condition of, of the country. Um, yes, it, 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 there are good signs. There are positive signs. And we need confidence back um, from our business owners to make sure that they are making the, the decisions that are right for the economy. They're making the decisions based on expansion, based on, on growth, based on optimism for the future. Um, What's, what's tended to happen over the last few months is they've, they've become entrenched uh, in their position. They've sort of circled the wagons. Um, and as a consequence, ev everything's stagnated. But to say that it's at an end um, is, is certainly going too far. There's, there's a long way for this to go yet. Do you think Ivy's right? Do you think a lot of small businesses will feel frustrated that such a massive gift was given to the banks, if you like, and we're still not feeling it trickling down to local businesses. Oh, yeah. One question comes out from uh, numerous conversations that I have with businesses. Where is the money? Mm. Show us the cash. Um, now, this is due for a number of reasons. There's still confusion within the banking industry as to exactly how this money is to be administered. Um, there's still confusion because different banks are applying different rules when they loan this money out. Um, so some businesses are not seeing it, some businesses are. Um, but you know, it, it, it's, it's still a bit of a mess, and we're, we're keeping a very close eye on it on behalf of members to make sure that what the government promised, uh, they make good on. Can you compare Greater Manchester um, to the rest of Britain when it comes to um, the small signs of recovery? Obviously, um, they are the, there are those signs on the FTSE in London, but that doesn't necessarily always reflect in the regions. How are we doing in comparison to other regions? Um, I think we're doing about the same. I think if you look around, um, what, what we're seeing here is this, the same slight pattern as we're seeing elsewhere. We're seeing um, the occasional good sign. We're still seeing closures. We're still, things are still very tight, very difficult. Going to be that way for quite some time. Um, but, uh, no, I think, it's, uh, I think th there is room to be cautiously optimistic. Um, I think if you liken it to a thunderstorm, the rain stopped and the sun's out, but there's still a lot of cleaning up to do. OK, and looking at manufacturers... Do you believe that the fact that there's been such a decline recently is part of this recession, or do you think it's been something that would have happened anyway because of a long-term pattern? This recession, for many manufacturers, especially in the northwest but nationwide, has been the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, manufacturing hasn't just declined, it's been allowed to decline by successive governments over the last 20 years. There's been a lack of investment, there's been a lack of support. Um, the, they have not allowed manufacturers to remain competitive in the face of uh, increased cost-cutting uh, from, from mainland Europe um, and from the Far East. And as a consequence, if, if the investments had been there 10, 15 years ago, when we came out of the last recession, then we may not have been in this situation now because we would have been able to make our way out of it. We put all our eggs in the service industry and financial services basket um, and now it's come back to haunt us. Should that, the quantitative easing and the, and the money that went into the bank, should that have gone directly to manufacturers, do you think? Uh, I think it was a very difficult one. They, they needed to do something to save the banking system, otherwise we'd have all been using cream crackers and bartering with dogs. Um, <laughs> so there wasn't a great deal of choice for them in that matter. But I think they should have stepped in before then anyway. Um, you know, it shouldn't have needed to get to this stage. They could have invested in manufacturing earlier and now we've been in a much stronger position to get out of it. The damage was already done. We're glad to hear there are some signs of optimism, though. Thank you very much, Nigel. Good to see you. Yeah.